So Neil, that was a tense uh, two-one victory away from home. It's our first three points, um, but overall, how do you rate the performance based on the season we've had so far? It's a victory. Um, that was the main thing. Um, made up for the lads. Absolutely made up. Um, I'm made up myself, if I'm honest. Um, you know, we put a lot of work and effort in. Um, no players in particular, and I don't think they've got the rewards of the games that we've played so far. Um, it's always going to be tough here. They, I think it's one three to be one. I think up until today, played some fantastic football. Um, we set up a certain way. Um, lads stuck to the plan. Obviously, they they were always going to have a spell after our time. Unfortunately, you know they've scored a good goal. Um, but I thought once we went, we changed the system. Um, and went three at the back. We had a number of chances on the break um, to kill the game off, and we didn't. Um, and why you don't? Good teams like Buxton, the good players, um, are always going to cause you problems. But I don't remember Luke having that much to do in the game. Um, so yeah, you know, sometimes you can get blinded by um, possession and good football, which they do very well. And I knew that before it came. I've looked at the games back and some of the movement and play that they do. So we knew it was going to be tough. But you know, I think you know me by now. We try and set the teams up best we can with what we've got to try and win a game of football. And then the rest down to the lads and um, you know, made up for, for for Brad to you know to to get on the score sheet. Um, Callum worked his socks. The old you know, they all done really well. Yeah, there's a lot of things that went our way. We didn't get an injury in the first 10 minutes like we yeah. have in, the, in the, the recent games. And Brad nicked that first uh, low free kick off turn, but his, his second, his header, that was far, far and away, went right leap over the keeper's head. That's probably the best of the two. Yeah, well, we talked we talked about set pieces. You know, we're fairly big. As you've seen us today, you know, we went big, as big as we possibly could with, our, you know, with what we got available to us. So, um, you know, we thought we, we could be dangerous from set pieces. Um, and that proved that proved the case. You know, first goal it was a bit of a miss hit from from Fern, but great. You know, that's what centre forwards are about. You know, that's the difference, isn't it? They might, they're alive to the to the to the scuffs or whatever. And um, I think Fern are claiming assist like, but um, but it's a great finish. You know, it's a clever finish. Um, but as you say, you know, a great header. You know, James has got round the back, um, headed it across, and um, and I made up for for Brad to, to get on the end of it. Yeah, as, as far as I remember, I think. Uh, Bucks could possibly won their last five or even six at home at the, the end of last season and this season. The second half was a much more different affair. We didn't get really shots on target until later in the game and we were constantly at threat of uh, Bucks and attack and we'd get down the wings and unforced errors. But we held together, we used your substitutions quite wisely, separating them out through the half. How do you think the second half was as opposed to the first? You just hit the nail on me. I think if you, if you have won five, six, or whatever they have won here, it's a tough place to come. You know, as I said, they're flying high in the league. They're very well coached. They're a good side. Um, you know, there's no teams in the, If anyone thinks that we're going to go anywhere or even at home and we're going to go and bop teams and, and win games, living in Cloud Cookie Land, you know, um, you know, every game's tough. I haven't seen the results today, but every game's tough and there's one goal. And, you know, we could have won Saturday if, if results go out, you know, if things happen in the game and, you know, then we get a decision given against us. So, second half, we knew they were going to come at us. You know, the manager's going to get into them. They're at home, as you said. But they've got a great record. Um, but we stuck to it and I thought we got the goal back early. So, I mean, that's even greater credit to the lads that normally that when that happens, um, you know, you know the avalanche is coming on, on top of you. But we changed the system and I thought once we went three at the back, got back to having two two lads up front. Um, I thought we'd seen the game. Oh, well, I don't, I, I might be wrong because I don't always remember everything. I don't remember Luke having a, a save to me in the game, um, second half particularly. Um, so, Although they had a lot of the ball and they're going to because they're good players, the way we defended as a group, as a team, was outstanding. One thing you mentioned just then was about not to expect like big score lines like last season. But one thing that every league has is momentum. And you can earn momentum. We haven't really got it until today because we got caught on the, the last minute by Oxford City. So this is the first time we could probably speak about how momentum can be key to any team in any league. And we kind of did that today. Yeah, we, we use the word momentum. I think I think from my perspective is it's getting, you know, there's very small margins, tiny margins in these games. I think Oxford's, you've seen it, scum for for, for for long periods. Um, not far as we were terrible. Um, but again, at Kings Lynn on Saturday. Um, and we, we know this league's tough. Everyone know, knows. And if anyone, you know, if you, people who are in there know about the league and what people spend and facilities, etc., understand where we sit in that. Um, but 
it's just about winning the next game or trying to win the next game and be competitive in the next game. You know, um, it's it's a tough old league with some real big football clubs um, and some real good players and coaches and managers and team our team well coached today. And we have to we have to do things a different way. But our lads give everything they've got. You know, and, and some of the performances out there today were were, were incredible. Um, you think you know? I think these are part full time as well. We're part time. I think we've played now apart from Farsley four full full time sides in that. I think I may be wrong with Oxford. I think they're the hybrid or that's what to ask Saki to Monday um, to ask part time lads to to go again. And hence the reason we made four changes, was it? But, but then bringing them lads on with their experience, which we didn't have on Saki. Saki would bring on the younger players. Went started with the experience. Today we went with the younger players and brought on the experience. So. Made up for everyone, um, made up for the club, the supporters, you know, first, first win in this division in the history, I think, of the football club. Um, so, you know, and, and what we've got to do now is enjoy it. I'm going to buy the biggest bar of chocolate money you can buy or I can find. And um, it's just good to be able to, Every managers will know it's good to just get a win and then you've got a couple of days to not enjoy it as much, but where you're not putting lots and lots of pressure on yourself um, to be start worrying about the next one. Um, so, you know, made up for everyone, um, but it's one win. That's all it is. As you said, momentum momentum can be brought into it. Confidence is, is probably more of a word for me, for our group, and, and self-belief. And, you know, we'll get that. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have players like, you know, Joe was outstanding today. Um, how good was Christy, by the way? Wow, what a performance from the young man. It's unbelievable performance, considering he played Saturday. And that is, you know, this is his first few games at, at this level. Obviously, he's playing... Um, he's at Blackburn, but what a performance! Um, but yeah, the main thing is for me, made up with, with the for the lads, um, because the effort and work rate that they're putting in, in training, and they've been knocked and they've been knocked, and as you said before, Oxford knocked our knocked our confidence, um, and then you know you go to, but we're improving, um, you know we've got to add to the squad obviously, um, but at this moment in time, um, I couldn't be proud of them. Yeah, and then um, like you said, we'll we'll focus on today. We won't even talk about. Saturday, we'll let you uh, enjoy that chocolate. Thank you very much, Neil. Thanks. No problem. Cheers.